Hi everyone, this is Dana Black. And this is Chelsea Simon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Collective, Collective Table. Chelsea here. As part of our What God Looks Like series, you'll hear musician Talib Peshkapia from Mystic Mercy as he shares new music and the story behind his music. We're calling it Storytelling with Mystic Mercy. In this episode, he talks about a song he wrote titled There Was a Tree. It was birthed out of the COVID-19 pandemic. For Talib, it was an ode to comfort and an ode to simple joy, a moment for him to reset as the world was crashing around him. Listen in as he plays and offers you a peek inside what fosters hope in his life. If you'd like to learn more about Mystic Mercy, please visit mysticmercy.com. Last night I had a dream A memory of when I was a child I ran across the field of my old home And came across a place where seeds would grow There was a tree Hi, my name is Talit Peshkapia And this song that you're listening to today is called There Was a Tree it's performed under my moniker, Mystic Mercy, and it's with the Collective Table in partnership. So we're going to break down this song today. We're going to listen to it. I'm going to give you a bit about what I was thinking when I wrote it, um, why it came to be, and some of the inspiration behind it. There was a tree of hope and peace. There was a tree there in my dream. There Was a Tree was written during the pandemic, and uh, I tasked myself with writing a song every day, and I put it up on Facebook. I did it for like 63 days. It was just a new song or digging up an old tune and sort of dusting it off, and this one was a new one, and it just came to me. It was fast. It, it, it is exactly what I was thinking, so the words are very clear, and... Um, telling you the story of what I dreamt the night before I wrote it. And a lot of the reason why the song is important to me is because it was a comforting song. And when it was this moment of crisis, like those first three months were just, in my mind, terrifying. So I, I, I put it this way to Crystal. I said, my wife is Crystal. And I said, you know, it felt like we were going on a one-way trip to Mars and we would never come back to the Earth. Like, it just felt like we would be gone and, and not have this really comfortable, normal, what I believed was normal life. So that was where my mind went. I was really terrified. And so I started to have these dreams of comfort. So I think, so instead of the dreams being panicked or scared, I, I think I was trying to soothe myself and um, a lot of imagery of trees and being a child really sort of hit home and started to do that, started to comfort me, like I said. And and being able to tap into that energy, that's what I did with this song. I I remembered as a kid that I would go and just play in the field and I wouldn't have any fear, any care. It was time to just be free. And so doing that in my mind was a reminder of, of good. And so I was holding on to any good. I was creating this, this story in my mind of peace and, and, and also just comfort. And you know, it's interesting. I had written a song that I performed uh, recently for, this, uh, for the collective table. It was the Earth Day song, uh, Don't Destroy, Create. I wrote it for my son. And so I, I was already kind of... Thinking back right now, I'm thinking about my, my headspace was really in tune with getting back to nature and wanting that and desiring that. You know, I would put my feet in the ground. I still do at my mom and dad's house. We go there now that everything's getting back to normal, um, God willing. We go and I take my shoes off and I just sit in the backyard. No phone, nothing. Just sit. Stare out into nothing. I just want to be doing nothing there. And I enjoy that. I enjoy the recharging of my batteries. And, you know, that those themes were very strong during this time of writing, 
during the coronavirus time. I'm going to pick up this guitar real quick. So I'm a big fan of the sort of choppy, plunky guitar playing. One of the first sort of exercises or things I would play when I was young was something like that. And I'm doing it really poorly, um, but that's how I was taught. My dad taught me guitar and he's not a guitarist, funny enough. Um, he's actually a Latin percussionist. And so, uh, you know, he always had this, like he would pick up this old, old beat up guitar and he would play those three chords. Or he would play, actually he would play the, that, that pattern or same pattern, but he would do it either in the C form or the G form for the guitar players out there. Something simple like that had always stuck with me. And again, this song was about comfort. The song was going back. So I used this pattern right from the get-go. Obviously I change it instead of going to uh, one, three, five, I do like a one, three, one, five. And uh, it was just fascinating to, to, to revisit that. Um, again, comfort, <laughs> I'm trying to soothe myself during the, the panic of the coronavirus. And um, yeah, I just really like that plunky style of guitar playing and I, I use it in a lot of different songs, but it especially fit here. And at one point, the chord choice goes, I, I'm a big movement kind of person. I, you know, I'm, I'm not a four chord person. I'm not a four chord writer. I don't do that. Uh, there's this like following a melody. Last night I had a dream. A memory of when I was a child. So there's all this like, ba 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 da 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 There was a tree. And that's actually the theme um, right from the beginning. So our, our little bit of constant theme lyrically is already given away in the verse. So there was a tree, um, which is how I end the song. I wanted to just have that. Da, 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 da. There was a tree. Instead of sort of it, it ending on like a classic chorus, it was kind of fun to put my main thesis right away at the top in the verse. And that way we can close out with this verse and end it with that, that exact thing. There was a tree to just really hit home. And, um, and so that's how that came to be. And the story of course progresses to a moment where I'm trying to hold on to the dream. I'm trying to hold on to hope because like I said earlier, it just, it felt like we were going on a spaceship to Mars. Um, at some point in my, my, in my mind at the time, I was really like afraid and not sure. And so um, I had to wake up and I had to come back to a coronavirus world. And so I was saying, I really want hope. I really want this dream to stay. I really want this dream to not go away. Please don't leave me. And comfort, please don't leave me. And so that's what this song's really about. It's, a, it's an ode to comfort. It's an ode to simple joy. And it's an ode to going back to a place where you can get that hope. You can get the recharging. Like, I, I've lost my way, it feels like. So um, on top of the world sort of crashing at the moment, it was just, okay, let's start over like I need to reset please and so that is the breakdown of a simple breakdown of there was a tree thank you for listening and came across this place where seeds would grow there was a tree Thank you so much for listening. Just like everyone we are interviewing throughout this series reflects the sacred and holy image of God, so do you. Together, we are what God looks like. The Collective Table is supported by San Diego United Methodist Church in Encinitas, California. A big thank you to the team at Castos, especially our producer, Stuart Barefoot, and our content editor, Claire Watson. The original music heard in this episode was created and performed by Mystic Mercy. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast, YouTube channel, and our newsletter. If you'd like to financially support the work of The Collective Table, please visit thecollectivetable.org. There you can also find out more about who we are and view past episodes.